right there, we're just the motor going here as we're shooting out. So uh, where are we going from here today? It doesn't actually look big on the chart, but believe me, it's big. We're coming from uh, Santander here. The goal is over till Stable Stallone, the start of the MD Globe. Now, once we get over here, Come over the weekend, the weather could be getting a wee bit worse come the end of the weekend and uh, in the next week we know there's bigger seas coming in. But what we're going to do is head for Stable Stallone, so create straight across here and across the shelf and over until into here. And then what we'll do is everything is still going to be okay. We're going to keep just coming right up the coast then and hopefully get to as far as Laurent, which is another few miles on top of what we're going to do. But the weather holds and the wind comes then we're going on so really the rest of this trip uh, there's not going to be much happening so it's just going to be life and board we'll have a few things that some people was looking to know what we're doing so well we'll maybe throw that in and let you know what sort of stuff we're up to on board right so such as what food we keep on board uh how much water we carry and what equipment to use we'll show you Right then, that's us left Santander to cross over Biscay again. We'll have quite a bit of swell here at the minute. Uh, and no fucking wind, so it's going to be a long jump. Uh, just hoping the wind picks up when we get out here. But uh, it's a big swell, so we're underway now, there's no turning back. If you look in close to the coast over here, uh, you'll see how big the swell's breaking off the rocks down there. He likes to have my cheesy things, don't you, Mark? He's having breakfast this morning. Uh, <laughs> nice set of cheesy balls, you uh, like them cheesy balls. You're on the top, you just finished yours balls. last night. Happy skipper, happy skipper. Ah, uh, the wind now, we've got the wind, 14 knots of wind. We're bombing along at 7 knots. Oh, yes. We're not talking GPS speed. Nice one. Oh, yes. Get in there just because. Woo! Yeah, happy skipper and a happy crew. So if this keeps up, in here. Hey, what's going on in here, Alex? Here, here. Uh, well, I'm just about to start cooking dinner for us. Uh, chicken burgers, and I'm going to cut up an onion and a couple of bits of bread. You might think of why I'm standing here holding on to this handle. It's, fucking, it's not easy when you're cooking on the lane like this here, but you get used to it after a while. That's just the life of cruising. Get in there. The pan's ready. And he's cooking, so... Alex does all the cooking sort of when we're going along at this here because if it's not cab cabin too long uh, there could be a bit of boat flying about along with the dinner. Uh, go in there. Yeah. I tried one in, what do you call it? Wasn't it going to... Uh, where the fuck are we going? Across the Bristol Channel, remember, making soup? Uh, and the head started getting a wee bit... I was, fuck, I was fucking stamping one head, one fucking foot was on one side of that seat and the other one was at the <laughs> cooker. It's not easy like, but... Just get on with it. Right, just, he was talking on the subject of grub there and he's cooking the, the dinner and stuff up there and I'm sure you can hear sizzling. People was asking us what sort of stuff do we keep on board for food because they said they haven't uh, seen any of us losing weight. 
Right, uh, fresh stuff first of all, what we do is keep it in a cool box and what we have in it is uh, keep mince burgers and anything sort of that's uh, well sealed that, that nothing can leak into it so water can't get into it. But the only second thing about this is we'll have to use ice all the time. So in uh, some, of, some of the later videos we're going to show you an upgrade we're going to do in the boat to, to stop all this. Uh, uh, so what we keep in the cupboards, uh, not the cupboards, but just the shelves and, and anywhere we can just stack it into is tin food and the beauty of this one is corned beef should be everywhere in your boat you can do loads of stuff with uh, we'll stuff the canned chicken, it's minging but if you're stuck it's dead on uh, tinned ham, uh, peas and carrots and jars, sweet corn, uh, tuna, uh, anything fucking tin that you like, have it meatballs, tomato sauce <laughs> It's endless what you can put in tins. You have uh, then what we keep in the obby place just for handiness if it gets rough and you need something warm to eat is uh, pot noodles, shitloads of pot noodles. Uh, and we packets of soup just so you can mix them, just something warm in your belly. Uh, that, the only thing really holds us back, we can't we can't have nothing, we can't freeze nothing because we have no fridge. But uh, basically, and the other really, really, really important thing that you need to be having is lots of junk food. Junk food is important for one reason. At night time, if you're on there on your own watch, uh, people say, oh, but you need to eat properly. Listen to me. If you're out there two or three in the morning and it's fucking cold, the wind's raining, you're not going to start to want to eat a fucking salad or a couple of eggs. You want a big dirty Mars bar, bag of crisps, can of Coke. You don't want to be fucking cooking all this fancy stuff. A load of shit lies. Cup of coffee, some junk, tin of coke, and away you go. Really, you, you could go on and go on and go on with stuff you can keep in this boat for food. Uh, the other thing we just keep fucking things like butter and stuff if it's cool is under the floorboards next to the hull and bottled water in behind uh, the seats against the hull just to keep things slightly cooler. But in this weather, it's, uh, it's just a bit uh, too much. You need ice. So that's what we. Uh, that's where we keep our food, and it's really simple what we keep, all tin stuff, and corned beef is king. <laughs> so this is what cooking on the lean looks like. Right, so that's us heading in there. Uh, Straight north, uh, we're sailing away. We're gonna go in till St. Dennis, to, or not St. Dennis, uh, Stables to Long. Uh, but if this wind keeps holding, if we can even keep as much as four knots, we're just gonna keep heading north. And then when the wind swings around more northerly, then we'll shoot back in this way. We're just, we're just seeing what happens. We've actually no plan here at the minute. We just keep sailing and, and keep going where the wind takes us. But uh, I mean, just take a look out there, like it's. There's biscuit at its finest and it's most fucking beautiful, I'd say. Absolutely class. No land in sight. Got a pack of land. We're out of sight of land. Amazing what goes on out here in the middle of Biscay, miles offshore, and just wondering what the hell's for tea tonight. And for tea tonight is Mexican burrito wraps. Arriba! 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 arriba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking looking good, boy. Good man, Alex. And you have to cook in style, or they don't taste the same. Nice. Stick with the tradition. <laughs> Right, it's not until you're actually out here that you actually realise the beauty of the place. But it's an absolute fucking feast. This place will eat you alive if you don't kind of treat it with respect. Hope the plans went right. And, uh, you need to be here to see this here. This is absolutely unreal. To see it with your own eyes and breathe the air and feel the sea and listen to the sound. This is fucking magic. Right, that's the first night sail uh, in there across Biscay. Uh, 
I had to run the engine for quite a while last night because we had completely run out of wind. But as the sun started to come up there, we've got the wind again, so we're moving along nicely at four and a half, five knots. Still light wind. Uh, last night, absolutely amazing here. It absolutely flew in. <coughs> we had uh, the amount of fucking stars out. Unreal. It just makes the fucking universe look so big. Really good night, night flew in, so we're going to carry on tonight and um, we're heading for uh, Bell Isle we're going to head for, but we're going to go in that way because it gives the weather a change here on Sunday, so we'll go in this way anyway, we'll see what's happening and then we'll just keep nipping up the coast, if the weather's good we're not going to stop, we're just going to keep going north as far as we can, so good night. Yeah, last night uh, absolutely flew in. Uh, when I was out and watched the amount of shooting stars I seen out here was unbelievable. Um, really, really bright. I think I seen about seven. Seven. So it was good. <laughs> he said one of them he thought was going to hit the boat. It was that close. <laughs> <laughs> one of them, the first one I seen was the closest to seen all night. It was unbelievable how, to, how close it looked. Good stuff. Hopefully it stays good today. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a nice day. Still no sight of land. Just because does biscuit again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the sun wasn't so spectacular coming up this morning. Never looks just as spectacular getting up in the morning. That big dumpy head is crawling out of bed. You want to talk? But all's good just because. All right, so what's going on then this afternoon? Yeah, uh, winds picked up slightly for us, so we're making really good ground here at the minute. We're getting seven and a half, eight knots. There, when Alex done the last position, we just measured the distance we covered, and in two hours we covered 17 and a half miles. So the speed's up pretty damn good. Sea's still good, the sun's still out, the wind's just picking up a wee bit more, so Billy, there's somewhere we should be over that direction by about two or three in the morning, but uh, we might just head on up the coast and then just keep going till we uh, find somewhere nice to come into and then have a break before we get near the Raz de Zane and then, then we're ready for the good old UK. <laughs> so all's going good. Been good all the time. Yeah, it's been absolutely brilliant seal, uh, really fast and nice sun, so we're able just to keep it on a nice tack here and just relax and enjoy the fast sailing. Still about 80 miles, or about 80 miles off. Off land here, so we're 80 miles off short at the minute. All's well. No wind in biscuit, so what do we do? We'll have a fucking party. Party! Arriba, arriba! Arriba, arriba! What the fuck just happened there? <laughs>
What up, what are you this morning? Because we're a bit behind time because we lost wind and uh, we started getting hit with tide here, so we weren't making any ground and with the engine running for quite a while, so we just wanted to break and get ourselves something neat as well. But we're going to go up in here and belly near to the actual the, the wee harbour and maybe we're in there. We've got a choice either do this or head over till near the ramp. So in this short hop, me and Alex is going to make up our mind here. So. It's a game some game, Alex, isn't it? Yeah, uh, just you were saying, that's, that's life on board just because you just don't know where you're going to end up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't know how long you're going to be at sea for us, either. Yeah, that's another one, yeah. But, but we've got the choice here too, so stay tuned and you'll find out where we end up.